Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the small multiples visual and also talk about the new features which have been added in the November release to this particular visual. So let's get started with this tutorial. So I have a column chart over here uh, giving me the details of the sales by month and by quarter. And let us say that I want to compare my sales over the period by um, let's say by region. So I have regions over here, central, east, south, west, etc. And if I had to compare all of them, for example, I want to compare central with east. And so I'll have to add a slicer over here and then select this particular visual and see how central has performed. And then I need to go and select east and see how this has performed. So Power BI came up with a feature to make your lives easier by creating something called a small multiple. And all you have to do is bring in this particular column into the small multiples area over here and you will see that a visual has been created for all of those four regions right here and now I can simply do a comparison of central with east or central with west and it makes our life very easy to sort of look at all four regions in one particular visual and see how they have been performing. So this is what small multiples is capable of doing, bringing in or breaking in the um, values in that particular column and then creating the small charts for you to compare and look at the results. Now the new feature which Power BI added in the November release is basically, uh, let me just go back to this page. So what happened was if you look at this particular chart over here, you will notice that the uh, sales have been going up uh, in the accessories subcategory but however when it comes to fastness uh, it seems to be on this particular straight line and there, there is no up and down that is happening in that particular range. Now one of the reason why this line is flat over here although it is going up and down is because the y axis that you see over here is shared among all of the four visuals over here like for example uh, the values from 0 to 15,000 or 12,000 over here are same across all the uh, four uh, visuals over here but if you see fasteners here the values are very less if you look at this it is only some $10, $30 etc. Let me just give you a better example here by only selecting fasteners in this case. So if I select fasteners, you will actually see that the curve is actually not flat, but it is there are some ups and downs that are that is happening in this particular um, visual over here. But however, when I add in some other categories, you will see that fasteners and in this case envelopes as well going very flat because the y axis range here is very different. So Power BI added a new feature in the November release wherein you can change the values of the Y axis over here. So what you can do is select the visual over here and go to Y axis and you will see something called as shared Y axis. You can turn this off and then scale to fit you can turn this on. Now what, you, what will happen is that all of these four visuals are using individual Y axis you can see over here for the chairs category the axis is 0 to 10 to 15,000 and likewise for copiers it has changed from 0 to 8,000 and for fasteners it has changed from 0 to 200 so that we can read this particular uh, line or trend over here in a better way and giving us the right results. So one thing you will have to be careful about here is that you will have to let the users know that there are different axes for all of these four charts. They might get confused looking at this axis and think that all of them have the same axis but no this is in thousands and this is in um, you know it's in the multiples of 50. So there is a lot of there might be some confusion around it. It's always good to add data labels here and display the values so that it becomes very distinct that this is 151 versus this is 12,700. Now this is one thing that you will have to keep in mind while creating this particular visual and let the users know. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.